Greetings everyone, Spartan here, coach of the Victor Velvetini. Welcome to the LDL Major Season 9 Week 5 Team Builder as we go up again, preparing to go up against none other than the LDL Chairman, chairman himself, Jetman 99, aka the Boy Down Under, aka Jesse, and his team of the Outback Homalas. Now, before I get into the team builder, you probably noticed on the side uh, of the team a small change in the team. Uh, I went in and dropped Shaman. Now, I didn't drop this Mon out of like, oh, this Mon's bad. No, it's not that. It's just that I like a few things that I think I feel more comfortable with if I have it. Such as Pivot, another Defogger, because I don't want to keep Mew and Moltres as the Defog role all every single game. Uh, so I went ahead and dropped it because mainly because of that. No, no, no disrespect to Shaman. Actually, was really good on a lot of my games. So props to Shaman, Miss Say the Shaman. But we are going to be picking up Whimsicott now. For Whimsicott, uh, it, stat wise. It has great speed. It has great speed. Everything else, it's okay. Defense is alright. Uh, special attack is okay. But other than that, it's it's just a weird mon. Uh, in in terms of like a speed bulky, think of uh, superior, I guess. But despite that, it has everything that I need. Uh, that Shaman did not. And that is Pivot and Defog. Because when's it going to have U turn and Defog, along with a lot of useful tools with the, uh, with the useful abilities of Prankster and Infiltrator. Um, built moves such as Moonblast, Leech Seed, Substitute, uh, Knock Off. Memento, Tailwind, Trick Room. So this mod has potential to be very helpful. It may not be as bulky as, as Shaman, but it does have more tools than Shaman, if you catch my drift. So that, I dropped this mod to, just so I can have a potential of getting into the rest of the week uh, of the season without you know trying to lose you know because right now we're two and two but we have a very 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 tough schedule ahead of us nothing but nothing but boys that have high praise and high like a lot of them are champions that's all I have to say. A lot of them are either champions or really, really good players that I've fought before. So without further ado, let's get into the team builder. Now, initially, Jesse had like a little bit bulk, <coughs> excuse me, in uh, Mega Agron, but in but apparently a player of ours. Drop Megalopony and Gentman immediately picked it up. Like frame one. So that is a lot to worry. That's kind of scary because you look at my team, the fastest mod I have is Whimsicott. And even then, I still don't think I, I have the team to, in quote, beat it. Because if you look at it, Tapu Koko, pretty much wipes the entire, my entire team. Just give it the right coverage, it can completely wipe my team. Megalopony, very fast, very powerful. Salamance with the Z. I could see him bringing the Z, uh, like Z Salamance. Like Z si Sky Strike, or Z Tectonic Rage, or Z Devastate Drake. 
So already, that's a big mon, a big mon, big problem. Cresselia, already a very bulky, and even can even sweep it on its own if you uh, give it the, like the right tools. Darmanitan, I have flashbacks, Vietnamese flashbacks, back from season seven after I choked that uh, that game. Araquinid. Arguably one of the best uh, sticky web users in the game, with uh, one of the best abilities in the game. The Sharp, a very threatening mon with great stab and has good uh, stab priority with Sucker Punch. Dawn Fan, a very physical, bulky, and physically offensive mon that could either run very uh, supportive or very offensive. Gigalith. Uh, also in mod that's also very bulky in defense and very bulky in special defense, especially in sand. Also very uh, offensive in st uh, in attack as well. Alone Raichu, pairing up with uh with Tapu Koko, already a threat of its own. Death Noir, uh, it's bulky. But the HP doesn't really help as much as you can, uh, as you imagine. And Kualadin. That's all I have to say about Kualadin. I have nothing to say about it. It's bulky, but that's it. So just looking at the team, I can say right now, the Tapu Koko, Lopini, Salamence, and Cresselia are all being brought in this game. And the last two are up to him. He could bring webs if he wants. He could go Basharp. He could go Dolphin. He could go right, uh, Lone Raichu. I mean, those are the four that I, uh, I would say, will be brought from the two that Jetman uh, will be meeting for, uh, along with Tapu Koko, Megalopony, Salamence, and Cresselia. So, I asked some help. Uh, other than my front office, I also asked the uh, Pokegame server, uh, Discord server, for, uh, for help as well. So, I think this team may have the potential to break into this, uh, this team. So, without further ado, let's get into it. So, first up, got Philomena, the Moltres, got Leftovers, Flame Body, uh, trying to catch off. A potential burn on Megalopony, Salamence, or even uh, the Sharp, or even Don well, not Dolphin, but well, maybe Dolphin if it clicks knockoff. But other than that, uh, the Flame Ball is mainly for a lot of its physical offensive uh, mons outside of Darmanitan and Araquanid. I got the moves Tailwind, Defog, Flamethrower, and Roost. Tailwind is for like it might. Uh, based on the mods I have, is for late game. With Tailwind up, I get a pl uh, I can able to outspeed even Tapu Koko with uh, one, one mod that I have that I can be able to outspeed it. Uh, if Tailwind is up. Defog for rocks, just in case. Flamethrower for, uh, for Stab and Roost. Uh, Flamethrower is just for Chip, nothing more. I initially had Air Slash Heck, I even had Hurricane over Tailwind, but I think Tailwind might be a little bit beneficial because, just because of Megalopony and, and Tapu Koko. Uh, I got uh, max HP. I got a lot of speed in, in, invested into this. Uh, able to outspeed the sharp, uh, max speed Jolly the sharp. So uh, hopefully I'll be able to outspeed it, click on the flamethrower and take it out before he even thinks about clicking Sucker Punch. Next up on, on the squad is bringing back once again defensive, uh, physically defensive Genesis, the Mew, with Rocky Helmet this time instead of Colberberry. I was thinking about running Colberberry, but I think the chip with Rocky Helmet will come a long way. Um, I have Roost, Toxic, Earthquake, and Stone Edge. Toxic is mainly for the Cresselia and Tapu Koko. If I can wither those mons away little by little, 
it makes my other mods a little bit better to take them out. Earthquake is uh, for almost any of his grounded switch-ins, except for uh, Araquanid. And that's why uh, Araquanid and Salamence, that's why I have Stone Edge as well. If I could get Chip on those mods as well, it'll force him to attack me instead of setting up. Because I just because I have both the offensive pressure. That's why I'm running Impish over Bold. You know? Next up, I have... I'm bringing back the Dual Dragon Core. <clears throat> bringing back Ripster, the Garchomp. Played exceptionally well last week. Uh, and I'm trying to bring this in. Uh, the With uh, Stealth Rock, Dragon Tail, Draco Meteor, and Earthquake. Draco Meteor, surprising enough, with almost no investment, pretty much Oko's Salamence. It, it just straight up Oko's it. So I'm like, okay with that. That's why I have Draco Meteor instead of like Outrage or Dra Dragon Claw. Just in case if he has like Intimidate on uh, on the Salamence, just in case. Uh, the And as for the uh, investment, the 244 in this for death is only when I Mega Evolve. When I Mega Evolve, I guarantee survive uh, any move that Tapu Koko goes for. HP Ice, Dazzling Gleam, I tank those hits really well, surprisingly enough. So, it's not, in fact, it, uh, HP Ice isn't even a two hit KO unless it is a Specs or Life Orb. So, having Ripster Mega Evolve, uh, giving it a chance to Mega Evolve, will come a long way. Next up, uh, and also uh, for as for Dragon Tail, it's pretty much to piv out any potential sweeping mons that he might bring in. Like, let's say he tries to go for Dragon Dance, I click Dragon Tail, Dragon Tail, push it away, or just click Dragon Meteor. If he brings in like. Oh no, a sword stance. No, if he tries to set up with like Megalopony with Power Punch, I could click Dragon Tail, get it out. It goes with Combine with Coco. I could click Earthquake and break through. Hopefully, uh, unless if it's uh, Shuckleberry. Uh, pretty much that's it. And Rocks is just Richard Chip. Next up is my second Dragon type. This is where the heat be uh, comes slowly goes in. This is uh, Naturala the Como holding the Roselli Berry. Roselli Berry, pretty much a uh, half the damage of Fairy type moves with the, uh, with Bulletproof because there's no other move I, I could. Uh, uh, there's no other ability that really benefits what I'm bringing and what he has. Uh, with the moves Protect, Poison Jab, Drain Punch, and Toxic. Now the reason why I want to poison trap over the earthquake, I want to guarantee hit everything on his team, because uh, uh, poison really affects his team. Uh, toxic is to res uh, also for uh, Cresselia, also for Araquanid, also for uh, heck even Darmanitan. With this mon, with this invest. Uh, physical defensive investment I'm tanking not that great but I am tanking uh, Darmanitan's uh, life or flare blitz so I'll be able to wither it away little by little and then drain punch it away same goes for Raquinid I tank a lot of liquidations uh, outside of defense drops uh, I take a lot of uh, the physical attackers, uh, and surprisingly enough, with the Roselli Berry, I even survived Tapu Koko's uh, Dazzling Gleam. So that will come a long way. Da both Dazzling Gleam from uh, Tapu Koko and a uh, Moonblast from Cresselia. So that's why I have Roselli Berry over like any other item like Leftovers or Rocky Helmet. I think Roselli Berry is a great way 
for me to try to wither away both Tabu Koko and Cresselia. Next up on the list is another mod that's potentially for Tabu Koko and Cresselia, and that's Terabyte the Crocodile with Assault Vest. I have Moxie over Intimidate. I was, I want to bring into Intimidate, but I am not trying to bring this mod in on the Sharp if, let's say, it's like the last mon or I have to switch into Terabyte or for some reason Bisharp is running red card and I end up switching to uh, Crocodile gives him an extra plus one in, uh, in Defiant uh, with the ability Defiant after the uh, well it'll be a plus one it'll be initially a plus two but it's a plus one because of Timonade anyways I got Assault Fest. I'm able to tank a lot of uh, tank uh, um, a, a hit from Tapu Koko and Cresselia. Let me use Earthquake and Crunch to take them out outside of berries. Stone Edge just for coverage for Salamance, Araquanid, and then um, and also Earthquake for Tapu Koko, Darmanitan. The sharp. I also have superpower for the sharp just in case. Other than that, I don't know. For, for, I had to be careful with my switch ins with both terabyte, with all of these three. If I lose one of these threes, I'll lose momentum. So I have to be careful when I have. To, when I bring in, uh, when I want to switch in, because if I switch in the at the wrong moment, I lose. I pretty much straight up lose. So I, I can't let that happen. I can't let either of these three drop. Otherwise, I lose to Tapu Koko straight up. I, I lose momentum and lose to Tapu Koko straight up. And then last but not least, this is actually a set that. Um, Pokemon himself recommended me to bring, and that is Deancey. So I'm bringing Estelle Deancey, Choice Scarf. Yeah, this is Choice Scarf Deancey. With Choice Scarf Deancey, I am able to outspeed Jolly Salamence at neutral. So I have uh, Naive Nature. I'm running Moonblast, Diamond Sword, Earth, Power, and Toxic. Toxic is just like that move that I just didn't know what to give. I initially had HP Fighting, but then I lose all um, that speed creep that I need. Uh, Moonblast guarantees out, uh, Oko oh, has a good chance. The roll is in my favor to Oko uh, Salamence, Oko Alopany. Uh, Earth Power is able to take out Tapu Koko, Lone Raichu. This is also the mod where Tailwind from Philomena will come in handy. If I can find a way to bring uh, bring Moltres in, click the Tailwind, I could try to let it die, and then bring in Deancey and hopefully sweep with Moonblast. Either Blue Moonblast or Diamond Sword, depending on what mon is the, the amount of mons are left alive so that's pretty much it that is the team oh yeah another thing because of clear body um, and it has sticky webs I I'm still able to keep my speed so other than that that's about it as I mentioned before this is a very hard this is this is a very difficult game not gonna lie I don't see myself winning, but that's not going to stop me from trying, because if I could beat Jesse, cool. If I can't beat Jesse, well, I probably might hear the end of it from Jesse. So that's pretty much it. Just looking at the team, I mean, I ha here's the thing, I initially had a couple of other potential ideas of what to bring. I had one build where I brought 
I was going to plan to bring Marini, bring in Toxic Spikes and Toxic, try to wither away from that. But then it just gets bossed by Cresselia easily. Be even with the Aviolite. Um, Whimsicott would have been good nice. I actually had it over uh, what mon? I think I had it over one uh, over Terabyte, and it was just like a Life Orb set, but it, it wasn't really helping. I didn't see it be, being very helpful in this game because of the sharp. If the sharp wasn't there, I would easily bring uh, Winsicott and able to bring like a Lee Seed set, you know? I try to slowly wither away his team. Because I don't think he would ever bring Koala in this game. If he does, cool. If not, then yeah. But other than that, um, I yeah, like I said, other sets were like Trick Room, a Trick Room team. Uh, another set was where I used what was it? Uh, Switcheroo Iron Ball to slow down Tapu Koko or to Manitan and try to bop it. But on paper, that would have worked. But in game, I had to. I don't think I'll be able to land it, uh, make it work. So other than that, that is the team. This is the team, the best team I could think of, uh, I could ask for to, to use. Not gonna lie. Hmm. Yeah, there's something else I could change. I could like change Super Power for uh, Pursuit. But probably not. But other than that, that is the team. Thank you everyone for watching. Hopefully we catch this W. Hopefully. If not, yeah. But thank you everyone for watching. Uh, click the like button if you want. Uh, it really helps out. And until next time, I'll catch you guys later.